this land belonged to the Roman Catholic Church and the church decided to allow these poor communities to settle here because they didn't have anywhere to go, uh, they didn't have land. That's how they ended up in this small piece of land and you can see they are all around, surrounded by uh, timber plantations. So they are like living in an island with no services or no electricity. We were invited into a, a conference uh, uh, by Miseru uh, in Cape Town. Uh, Project 90 was introduced and we got interested in this solar light system because the communities that we work with have got no electricity and it's still gonna be still gonna take some time for them to get connected to ESCOM. And we know that in most cases the communities that we helping have got no jobs and uh, uh, to get light buying candles it is so expensive. Yeah, as so we invited Project 90 to bring it here so that we can demonstrate it to them and maybe the surrounding communities will also see it and maybe make use of it in the future. Well, it's been quite a challenge. It's been tough, but it's been uh, very rewarding at the same time. Um, logistically, getting around has been hard. Um, these places are quite remote and quite rural. Um, a lot of 4 by 4 was involved. After rain, it's muddy and slippery, and being uh, poised on the edge of a cliff is, is uh, exciting, to say the least. Um, also, pose the, a bunch of unique problems that we don't really encounter in a more uh, urban type environment. Um, things like drilling into walls, you expect to be cement to actually mud, um, structures to mount things on, it's not always available. It uh, requires a lot of ingenuity to do an installation in, a, in an environment like this, but at the end, with a very good team of people, that's been very rewarding. I've been working with my three colleagues. Um, we've been doing the solar power installation to the people's house, but they never have electricity before. I've been so happy to do that uh, because I'm getting to see people, they getting help. That's nice for me, I like it. It's a lovely thing to come with a solar power installation because people, they can use a clean energy without using other things that uh, they're destroying the nature. The system that we've installed has been uh, very carefully designed for this type of environment. Um, we start with a panel, it's a 35 watt panel. Um, it's mounted on the outside, obviously north facing. Um, essentially what it does is that this is the unit that uh, provides electricity to the battery. Um, what's happening in here is uh, sunlight, which is actually made up of packets of, of photons, come down and knock electrons out of the silicon material. Now, once those electrons have been knocked out, they're free to move um, and they all move in rows on the way to the battery. So essentially what electricity is, is, is flowing electrons and the energy goes inside to a 6 amp charge controller that feeds a 35 amp hour battery which is basically the capacity of the battery. Um, it's sli slightly smaller than a car battery but different in that it's completely sealed, it doesn't need any filling which is quite uh, essential in a place like this, you don't have to maintain the batteries. Um, that battery can provide enough power to light three 6 watt LED light bulbs for at least 24 hours each. So it's been designed for three days of autonomy, meaning it can go three days without any sunshine. The beauty of this system is that it's self-sustainable. You don't have to spend money every day. Once it's there, the light is there for free. God has provided us with, 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 with the sun and this system collects the energy from the sun and uh, charge the batteries and then they can use that light uh, during the night and the following day without spending any cent they will still have the light from day one until forever.